it's live. It's 6 16. Yeah, we'll see if Are we people, live. Yeah, but no one's on it yet. Okay. So, we'll see. so we shouldn't start talking until we, we get no, on it. I don't know, this might be a complete disaster. Yeah, I don't we, know. Well, we'll Big Tractor Power. Okay, Big Tractor Power. Hey, we're starting a little early. You're, I think you're the first one on Big Tractor Power. Oh, this there's is the, some people, yeah. I mean, this is the first time we've ever done this, so you guys are going to have to bear with us. We've done a couple Instagram lives, but uh, YouTube live, so um, I guess for the, yeah, people are coming on. So just to start out here, guys, we're, uh, just daughter, and this is my daughter, Alexandria, and I, and uh, we are just uh, west of Arcanum, Ohio. We're here harvesting corn, and I'm sitting in a new Versatile 365 tractor, and we got a new JM 1112 grain cart hooked up, and the combine in this video is gonna be an S670, and you might also see a John Deere 8235R pulling a 750 J&M cart. We got the two semis here, so we're gonna work for about an hour. Uh, a couple guys from J&M are actually here right now, now they're going to get some evening drone footage, so might even be a drone flying by in this video. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to get uh, going here, and my daughter brought me some potato chips and a Pepsi for a snack. So, with that said, let's go uh, haul some corn. And ask questions. Yeah, ask Maybe questions. Um, I'm going to be running the equipment, so. Uh, Alexander is going to tell me some of the questions, and uh, I'll try to answer all we can. Uh, we'll go from there. It's not raining here. No, it no. did mist a little bit, but that was about it. I'm not married, but he's married. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean, guys. Anything uh, bad, we won't answer. We'll ignore. I might get the seat today. We'll see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> actually, we got Alexander driving tractor here. Yeah. Well, it's still daylight. Little. She's drove these before, so she does know what she's doing. But um, yep, we got the combine coming here, and we got a couple end rows we got to clean up here, and then we'll be in uh, really getting with it. How do you like? Versatile. I love the 365 Versatile. Probably more horsepower than we need to pull this grain cart. But, uh, What's your favorite tractor to run? All of them. Any tractor I'm running is a good tractor. Big ones, not necessarily small ones. Even though I do enjoy mowing uh, grass with my John Deere uh, garden tractor, I guess. How was your day today? Pretty good day. Um, actually, I'm, I'm off work this week from uh, Versatile. I'm here home for harvest this week because so I'm on vacation or farm vacation. And uh, we, had, we got off to a slow start. We had three tenths of an inch of rain uh, last night. I worked ground till 11 o'clock, so I was uh, a little tired this morning. And uh, we didn't get started here till about 2 o'clock with the corn. Yeah, he, he's taught me everything I know in the farm world, so... <laughs> Uh, how many acres do you farm? Well, we don't like to talk about acres. Uh, how many acres? Would just I don't know. So the the correct answer is, as a lot of farmers say, some years too many and some years not enough. tell you these versatiles will go out there and do everything every other tractor will so I'd say they compare pretty good for less money it's a good value tractor and uh, lots of power it's a nice tractor so uh, I'd say they're very comparable yeah I'm kind of glad I don't look like him not to be me <laughs> yeah if you want to make my daughter mad tell her she looks like her dad <laughs> yeah, I will not be happy. She looks like her mom, my <laughs> wife. So, yeah. Um, it rained last night, but how much did we get? Uh, we got three tents here, and I, I'm told Southern Ohio got quite a bit more. Sorry, I'm trying to read these. Yeah. When are you going to get the chopping videos of all of them? When are you going to get all the chopping videos? I got. I still have like four or five more corn silage videos I got to edit, so 
it's tough. It's tough. Some of them might have to wait till November, December, because we're kind of busy now. Okay, sorry, there's so many comments coming yep. in. You just gotta pick and go with yeah. what we got. We see? Okay, why don't we see more versatile combines around? Um, you do in Montana and Western Canada. There's only a small number of them here in North America, so we're kind of limited. I've drove one before. Yep. <laughs> Alexandria got to cut wheat with a versatile combine in Oklahoma and in Colorado. That was a fun summer we had to get together in the wheat harvest run. Yes, I'm his daughter. I saw that one. Um, thank you. Uh... No, my mom's the cook. I don't cook that often. But when she does, she's actually pretty good. Yeah, I cooked dinner the other night and it was good. Yep. And actually, uh, my wife is, uh, she has to work late tonight, so Alexandria and I are going to have to fend for ourselves for supper. We'll probably just go out somewhere, though. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> yep. There's a pretty good pizza place like a half a mile from here out in the country, and they're open on Wednesday night, so maybe we'll go there. Okay, if you could have any tractor on your farm, what would it be? Um, I really like the versatile 575, and ask her what she would have. She likes, she's a Delta yeah, Trek fan. I would have Delta Trek yeah. versatile. I love the Delta Tracks too, but uh, the, the 575, especially the early version 575s, I really like that tractor. You, there's, can you guys hear us? For some reason there was problems. Oh. Well, some people are hearing us, though. Yep. I don't know. Let us know if you can't hear us. Yeah, we're going to... Okay, we're following the combine. We are going to unload on the go now. So... I don't know if I can get... I can flip it. Okay, so there's the combine. So he's swinging the auger out. So you're going to see some unloading on the go action here. Is this a demo? This tractor? <laughs> I can't answer that question. <laughs> It's more than a demo. Hi everyone, getting on. Or unloading, you can't really see it though. Yeah. We'll have to move the yeah. auger. There's a drone checking us out. Yeah, we have a drone watching yep, us. Yeah, J&M Green Carts is here, and you should see a drone coming up here soon. I better pay attention because I'm getting off road. <laughs> How much rain did we get today? Three tenths of an inch. <laughs> We're doing good tonight. <laughs> I have some questions when you're done. Okay. We don't want to get them distracted. <laughs> no. I'm trying to drive the tractor. Can you see the drone right There's there? The drone. Looks like a Mavic Pro. <laughs> no, there's not auto steer in this one. No, it has the auto steer ready valve on it, but uh, it does not have a guidance system in it yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah, yet. <laughs> We'll get back to questions in a second. Yeah, we got two drones watching us now. And that one's gonna go hit a tree. <laughs> you can see okay. it kind of flying. Yeah. <laughs> the other one's really far back, but okay. He's got the combine empty, but these rows, since they're kind of long, I'm gonna fall along and then he'll dump a little bit more on me down here and then I'll turn around and go back to the other end and wait. I'm 19 years old. I saw that one. <laughs> okay, where is the car? Okay. You just answer. Just if, yeah. if you guys, uh, if we don't answer your question, there's a lot of stuff coming through. So uh, don't 
don't hesitate to ask again. We'll try to do the best we can, but it's hard. Okay, how'd you get into YouTube? Um, I started my YouTube channel years ago because I was watching some farming videos, and I thought all the cool stuff that I get to see, I should start a YouTube channel. And I, when I worked for Versatile, I spent lots of fun nights in a hotel, so editing videos gives me something to do while I sit in a hotel at night. Yeah, we started early, but you didn't miss much. Yeah. Everyone wants me to drive. I'll drive soon. Yeah. As soon as we turn around here, I'll let Alexandria drive. Do you go any? Do you go to any farm toy shows? Uh, last year I went to the National in Dyersville. I go to the one in Lafayette, Indiana, or no? I go to the Lafayette Farm Show in Indianapolis. Okay, I'm gonna stop. He's got some point rows to finish here, so. Okay, are you gonna have any snowmobile videos this year? Uh, yeah, I probably will. Um, if everything goes according to plan, I do plan on, uh, you know, my youngest son lives in Utah, and uh, the one that he just got married, he was just home in Ohio here getting married, but uh, yes, he's going to pick up a new snowmobile when he gets home, another snowmobile for his uh, new bride, and I'm told that that can be my snowmobile to ride when I go out there. Okay. Why don't you guys run a 12-row head? Uh, because it, a 12-row head is, we take the 8-row down the road, a 12-row we could not take down the road. So this farm runs a 40-foot draper, uh, for the soybeans and the wheat, but uh, just an eight row. An eight row just works out pretty good here for a lot of reasons. Okay, we're gonna let Alexandria drive. Oh. Is it this one they pull down? Yeah. And then just give her a little throttle, and then you know the, you know the, this you gotta one. push the button in. Yep. This one? Yep, give her a little throttle first. And then that's the upshift and the downshift. Okay, Alexander is driving a versatile 365. You just downshift it. Yep, you can drive it to the other end of the field. That's where we'll catch the combine next. <laughs> is there no questions coming through? Or do we... um, sometimes you have to like scroll down, like scroll there. You there we go. go. Hey guys, I'm sorry right now when she's driving, I have to put my reading glasses on to see the comments. I'm not going to be able to answer any or read any questions while she is uh, driving the tractor. Sorry. But if you want, if, you're, if you've seen enough of Alex driving the tractor, we can put her back here to read comments. Yeah, no one's saying anything. Okay. <laughs> I hope you got life insurance. <laughs> I'm actually I, good. She's good. <laughs> she's been riding with me since she's been really little. She knows her stuff. So. seed or the training seed, whatever you want to call it. I should grab my GoPro there and video you this for my... Yeah. Okay, we're going to multitask here. I need to... Uh, Okay, here we go. Okay, two cameras going here. Got the phone and the GoPro, so... Neutral when you're the gear shifter. 
Just pull it back. There you go. Okay, we're going to switch and we'll get back to answering your questions now. Okay. Okay. So you know what's really awesome about the Versatile besides a lot of things? This cab's so big we can switch seats and you never, it's just huge. We could fit like six people in here. You should let her unload on the go. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe, not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Well, maybe, maybe we'll start out with a smaller, tr a smaller tractor and cart, but okay. Saturday she's going, she's going to have to. We're going to be short-handed Saturday. Okay. okay, we don't know what happened there. It looks like we can got you, disconnected. Yeah, can you hear us now? There we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, how far are you from Brian's farming videos and Harmless Farmer? Um, Brian lives about two hours away and Harmless Farmer lives about an hour. I just talked to Andy, the Harmless Farmer, about coming over here to drive this tractor and we might do a video together, but he was still doing corn, so maybe Maybe he'll come over here this week yet. There's someone on here that lives in Texas, but's from Dark County. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm starving. Ooh. I'm starving because I got these potato chips here and I want to eat them, but I don't want to look like an animal in front of the camera. Is there a versatile dealer in Wisconsin? Yeah, there's several in Wisconsin. Um, yeah, there's several. I just don't know all the locations because I don't cover Wisconsin anymore. There is a, if you go to Versatile's website, it's versatile-ag.com. There is a tab on there for dealer locator. So you can look at the whole world in the United States and you can find your closest dealer. You can type in your zip code. Okay, why should someone buy a Versatile? <laughs> because they're a very versatile tractor. It's a good, solid tractor for the money, and they're just going to go out there and be a good workhorse. Um, is this your farm and equipment? No, I help a neighboring farm. Um, okay, how often do you travel to Anawan, Illinois? A lot. I was just there uh, two weeks ago, and I'll probably be going back there again in a couple weeks. Good group of people there, good dealer. Okay, um, someone wants to know about how many acres you guys farm corn. Just um, you don't answer. Um, yeah, a <laughs> lot, a lot. <laughs> That's like a popular question. This farm also runs another combine, and then we also harvest with another farm. So we sometimes have three combines going in the same field. Looking forward to a video and a picture of supper. Okay, well, we'll let you know where we go, but it probably won't be on the live screen. <laughs> Alexandria wasn't home last night because she was at school, and my wife made meatloaf, and Alexandria does not like meatloaf, which she's crazy because my wife makes the best meatloaf. Meatloaf is hands down the worst food ever made. Like, ever. You're, you're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. <laughs> your mom makes the best meatloaf ever. And I know there can be bad meatloaf out there, but your mom makes... Uh, mom don't make anything that's bad. But that's the only thing she makes that's bad. Take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Okay, do you ever go to upstate New York? Yes, I do. Um... There's a couple versatile dealers. There's one in Arcade, New York, one in uh, Perry Center, New York, and one in Watertown, New York, I go to. So Western New York, and then I guess uh, Watertown would kind of be upstate. It's on the east side of uh, Lake Ontario. <laughs> Someone said, how can you be a farm girl with those bear claw nails? Um, I got them for my brother's wedding. They're not that long. I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to make her mad when she's got those nails on, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, okay. How do you like working for Versatile? It's great working for Versatile. Versatile's been very good to me, but I feel I've been good to them, too. 
best one on the team if you ask me. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Oh, we got another drone again. Okay, what do you like to do when you're not farming? Um, snowmobiling, riding four-wheelers, uh, hanging with my uh, family. Making YouTube videos. Yeah, making YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm a pretty simple person. Okay, they want you to tell them about your job. What do you do every day? Okay, so I'm a service rep for Versatile. And I go around and I help Versatile dealers with service related issues and stuff like that. And then I also help my neighbors farm. But, and I travel all over the country for Versatile. I'm actually going to be up at the factory next week. We're going to do some training on the new Versatile Nemesis tractor, so I will be in Winnipeg. JNM I farm, yeah. I think it's pretty darn accurate. Yep. Obviously, when the tractor's moving, the grain cart's moving, the scales are going to vary as the weight bars change, but it's it's pretty close. I got another drone ahead. Okay, we're going to go dump this on the semi. So. The grain cart's not completely full, but we got to go down this railroad track here. And it's a little bit rough, so I'm going to go slow. I don't like carrying all this weight when it's rough like this, so we are going to slow down. And the 750 grain cart is full. And when we get up here to the semi, Hank's up here. Hank was in some of my videos. Hank does, uh, he's a pretty good worker. He's uh, retired, but he helps here on the farm. And he, he loves it as much as I do. Okay, have you ever lifted with Scott Walker? Never have, nope. We keep talking about it, but I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm not real proud of it, but I haven't lifted weights for like two and a half months because I've been too busy. But I'll get back with it after harvest. It happens every year. Are you going to go back to the Walker Farms? Oh, I'm sure someday I will. Yep. Yep. I'm going to fold the auger out on the grain cart if you guys want her to turn the camera around. Um, or you can see it behind us, whatever works. I'll so. turn it. Okay, so let's... Uh... Um, real quick, were you at the Farm Science Review in Ohio? I was, I was. Okay, I'm going to fold the auger out here. Oops. We'll get back to questions in yep. a second. Okay, auger is out. Uh, this one truck's got a little bit of corn in it, so uh, this will probably fill it, and then Hank's gonna take it back to the drying bin. I'm gonna spin around, because I don't, this this grain cart is, is awesome, and it's got lots of clearance. We can unload or load into the truck on both sides, but I uh, I don't like to load onto the tarp side. I like to go opposite, so. There's Hank. There's Hank. Hank's He's watching, watching it. I think Hank's watching the live stream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep, yep. He yep, is. there Look he is. There's Hank watching the live stream. He's got it hanging out. <laughs> I even got fans in the field here. I'll be darned. <laughs> Look at that. There he That is. There's Hank. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
it. Oh no, you guys might see something bad. Oh, you almost see the oh. spilled corn. That was close. That was real close. Wow. That's embarrassing. That was scary. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm going to slow the gate down a little bit because I don't want to make a fool of myself here on uh, the live stream. I haven't spilled any corn yet, but this cart can put out... This cart can put out some corn now. Yeah, he cusses when it's needed. <laughs> And I assure everybody this truck will be within the legal limits going down the road. The bend site's only like a mile and a half from the field though. Whoops. Oh no. <laughs> this thing holds a lot. Yeah. Again. I really slow this down when I get to the end of the drop. <laughs> Someone asked, what's a legal limit? 80,000 pounds gross weight. Versatile 365. Kind of see it here. Thanks, rolling up the tarp. Yeah, there is one, but I don't know where. I don't cover that area, so I don't know where. I would go to versatileag.com and get on the dealer locator part. Okay. I almost got these potato chips eaten, and then I can... So it looks like you have a parking lot in the field. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of us. drive the trucks too? A little bit, not very much. Okay, I'm going to take one last gulp of my chips here. Okay, um, who can I deal with in Iowa for tractors? I don't know what part of Iowa you're from, but we got some uh, pretty good dealers in Iowa. And we got a really big versatile dealer up in uh, Kensett, Iowa, DNL Equipment. And they say the sun is always shining up there. They got some awesome shirts, too. I got a lot of awesome versatile uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts from there. And Alexandria does, too. Yeah, they're nice. Okay. Um, I hope I don't make other dealers mad, but they're a big dealer, and I know them well. So. Do you, come, do you ever come to the dealer in the Texas Panhandle? I have been to... Yes, I, I do. I technically don't cover that area, but I have been to uh, Perryton, Texas, Panhandle Implement, and I've also been to uh, their store in Dalhart and Hereford a couple times at each of them. Okay, um, where's the closest versatile dealer in Dayton, Ohio? Or to Dayton, Ohio? Like Mayor Farm Equipment in Jeffersonville would definitely be your closest. Okay. Um, how long have you 
work from Versatile. Ten years. Uh, does the new tractor handle the cart as well as the John Deere would? Yes. Yes, or better. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I, I really like is a crank cart on an articulated four-wheel drive because I think the visibility is better. You set up a little higher. Uh, the auger and the cart's back farther, but this tractor works great. And we got plenty of horsepower and plenty of weight here at the tractor for it, too. But my preference would be to have, like, a... Uh, articulated four-wheel drive on here, but I'm happy either way. Maybe next year we'll get like a versatile 430 on it. Okay. Or a 405. How does the versatile compare power, or com er, compare on power compared to the John Deere? And are there any uh, other versatiles in our um, yeah or that part? Okay. Uh, well, this tractor's 365 horsepower. Um, I think this tractor's got the same horsepower as the 9410. It's got the Cummins engine in it, so it's a pulling son of a gun. We've only had this tractor on the grain cart so far, so obviously that doesn't take a lot of power, but uh, we're gonna do some tillage with this tractor when we get done here, and I'll definitely let you know, but I think it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I was just at a dealer that dynoed a Versatile 365 here, and it was literally putting out 390 on the dyno. So that's pretty impressive. This tractor's peak horsepower rating is 400 horsepower. This is Versatile's biggest front wheel assist tractor. Okay, what are your thoughts on Chinese tariffs? They've asked this question like five times. Well, <laughs> tariffs are tariffs, and we should have uh, fair trade. That's what I got to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where is the closest dealer in Northwest Ohio, near uh, Archibald? Archibald uh, is going to be Homeyer, uh, Homeyer Equipment in Payne, or. saying bad things about me about me like oh. okay can you guys hear us now it kind of lost connection when we get to the south end of the field we lose our connection i don't know why but just bear with us let me know if you can hear us and who's ever saying bad things to my daughter knock it off <laughs> Okay, good. We're back. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't drive all the way to the south end of the field to unload on yeah. the gas so we don't lose the connection. Okay, do you hunt and fish? A little bit. I Actually, fishing, I would love to go fishing, but... I just don't have a lot of time to do that, and I haven't been fishing. My oldest son, Alexander, his oldest brother, is 31, Yeah. and he was a baby the last time I went fishing. <laughs> oh, we got two drones here close up. Uh, you might not see them now. but. And I saw a huge buck last night on my way home from driving from school, so. But I do do the little, a little bit of deer hunting and uh, mostly just during rifle or shotgun season because uh, it is bow season now, but obviously I'd rather be doing this. And when I have time, I do trap coyotes and uh, raccoons, and sometimes we have beavers here, and I'll trap them. Okay, will we see your Heston stack can this fall? I sure hope so. Man, I am dying to get that thing out. But That's all he talks about. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I've never even ran one, so. I am super excited to get get it going. Last year I didn't get it till late November and the corn stalks were too wet. And I don't think these guys would appreciate if I uh, stopped helping them here to go make uh, corn stacks. Okay, do you like running a deer combine or a case combine better? Um, this farm has one of 
each. I don't mind running either one, except the head raising lower is backwards between the two. So when you jump out of one into the other, it kind of confuses you a little bit, but uh, nothing I can't handle. Pro probably like run a green one better. Have you ever considered a gleaner? I love gleaners. <laughs> oh man, did somebody do that on purpose because they know I'm a gleaner nut? <laughs> This farm actually used to run gleaners, uh, but it ended at the, I think the last gleaner they had here was an R52. Um, what'd you do before working for Versatile? I was a service rep with uh, Gale Company. Whoa! The drone got really close. <laughs> we got a drone flew right between the combine and the grain cart tractor and he went under the auger that was a pretty impressive maneuver <laughs> he's got some end rows to peel off here and uh we got all the other end rows done but this field's kind of got some well there's a house and some acres right here so got to plan around that so he's just got to do a couple short end rows here and um we'll be back at it okay what crops or in our area? Mostly corn and soybeans and a little bit of wheat and uh, a little bit of hay. But this is primarily corn and soybean country. Okay, will, we, will you guys try out a versatile combine on the farm and is there any other versatile tractors in Dark County? Um, there is a Delta Track 570 on demo up by Ansonia right now. Uh, and then there's a lot of older ones. We don't have a dealer right here, but uh, a lot of old versatiles. But yeah, like I said, this one right now, and then that uh, Delta track. Brian's farming is here. Hey, Brian, I heard you guys are rained out. We're not, you should have come up. We could put you in this tractor. Um, who's flying the drone right now? Uh, the guys from J&M Grain Cart are here taking pictures for their marketing, and they're flying it. So these guys are getting drone footage of me. I'm not getting any drone footage for my vlog, but that's fine. Right there, we got two drones just oh, spying on me. I'm sure they're just taking pictures, but uh, the one guy's got uh, goggles and he flies his with goggles. It was uh, pretty cool. I don't have that yet, but uh, I, I do have my drone here in the um, tractor. Actually, let's take a look at it. I just got the DJI Mavic Pro and I bought it because it's a compact drone. It's pretty awesome. And then here's the controller. I slide my iPhone in there and uh, this is real nice to carry in the tractor over the Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 has got a big case and everything. I like my Phantom 4, but uh, this Mavic Pro is just nice for this kind of stuff. Does the new tractor burn DEF? Yes, it does. Uh, and right now, I put two and a half gallons in the DEF tank. The DEF tank is about 90% um, full. And if you're wondering what that warning light is here, sorry. Uh, I am doing a little software testing in this tractor. So when you put new software in, sometimes things happen. So. We don't actually have a problem with this tractor. I'm just testing some software for uh, Versatile here. Okay. Oh, there's so many. Do you like the red and yellow colors of Versatile better than red and white? Uh, yes, I do. I do like the red and white, but I love this color scheme here. I was so happy when we went, we went to a meeting at Versatile in 2016 in November 2016 and they made the announcement going forward everything would be red yellow and black and I literally about jumped out of my chair I was so excited um, what's the versatile combine status since they haven't heard much about them lately. well there's not a lot of them over here I mean we import a few every year uh, there's a, quite a few of them out in Western Canada and Montana but uh, anyways uh, we're just we're, we're, we're selling them 
we just don't have big numbers of them over here. The new 520 is awesome. I ran a 520 last year. Of course, I was around the 490 when it was still the old Rostel Mesh ones. Uh, played with them a little bit, and they made some changes. I was around the 490, and then I ran a 520 last year in Illinois with a 12-row corn head on, and there was a lot of nice improvements to it. Daughter cook like your wife? Is she learning from the master? <laughs> she, she doesn't like to, but she has done well when she's had to. <laughs> um, did you sell the farm this tractor yet? Not yet. Not yet. They want to get a versatile four-wheel drive, so I think you'll see a four-wheel drive here before a front-wheel assist. <laughs> What's the starting price on this tractor? That's a good question because I can only quote MSRP and I'm my excuse I'm going to use is I'm in service for Versatile not sales so I don't know the price but there's a lot of variables um, you know tires uh, this tractor has the high flow hydraulics it has the reversible fan on it um, has the leather seats so there's uh, I'm guessing I don't know I don't want to say because you know uh, it depends on the sales programs and stuff, but if I had to guess, I'd say, you know what, I better not say. But I'd say 250 and up, and I might be low balling on the 250, I don't know. What's the corn testing right now? The field across the swamp, which was planted, I planted this field on June 3rd, and uh, I think he told me this was around 20 or 21%. What kind of music do you listen to when farming? Um, country music, and I also like rock and roll. Um, I guess my favorite radio stations on XM are uh, Y2 Country, and I like Hair Nation, and I like, uh, it's XM 41 and uh, Turbo. That channel kicks butt. Uh, what's your favorite versatile tractor? <laughs> Well, if you want to go to the older ones, I really like the 1150s or 1156s. Uh, the Versatile 305 front wheel assist, Versatile 575, uh, the old style 575, as well as the new. And uh, I like this 365 here. Pretty well like them all. Uh, what are full season soybeans? What are full seasons? Like when do you plant? Oh, them when soybeans done? around here are normally planted in May, uh, sometimes April, but they can be planted as late as uh, maybe July 10th. And you know, normally you like to have your soybeans off by no later than Thanksgiving. But last year, because we had such a wet fall, there was literally guys that were finished up soybeans here in uh, January. But then again, there was one guy, I think, finished some up here in May. May or June, maybe. So, I don't know if they were any good, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you coming to the two Fort Wayne farm shows in January, if you have time? Uh, we don't have a display there. If we have a dealer, uh, a dealer that would be there, I would consider it. He's doing these end rows. I'm gonna pull off here in case he wants to unload onto me. I don't know if he will. Um, how did you end up at Versatile? Um, I uh, I knew a guy that worked for Versatile, and uh, I got to talking to him. When I worked for Gale, uh, Gale got out of the egg implement business and just was into construction equipment. And I did. I worked for them for three years after they got out of the egg implements, but I didn't enjoy it as much. I wanted to get back into the farm equipment side. I knew a guy that worked for Versatile, and I talked to him, and I gave him my resume at the Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois in 2009. And they hired me shortly after. Someone just called me a double chin thought. A what? A double chin thought. What the hell?
bet that person wouldn't say that to our faces. Yeah, if you don't want to watch this, then just leave. Yeah, if you don't like us, you can just get off here. I you don't, don't need to talk crap on here. Oh, he said he knows it's funny. He's laughing. Okay, I'm ignoring that. Just leave. You're not important. Everyone's yelling. <laughs> Okay. Um, We're heading to the other end of the field where we lost signal, so I'm going to try to hold back a little bit, and uh, hopefully the combine can make it so we don't have to lose you guys. Okay, is it fun driving a tractor? I think so. I love driving tractors. Always have. My mom says I was fascinated with tractors ever since I could look out the window and see one. My first word was tractor. <laughs> I'm not really. Seriously though, all, all kidding aside, my oldest son's first word was tractor. He said, doctor, doctor. And he's not into tractors near like I am. Okay, what brand of corn is this? Uh, this farm plants all specialty seeds when it comes to corn. I should have my specialty hat on, but I gotta have this versatile hat on. This, this hat right here, versatile made these in, uh, 2016 for the 50th anniversary and I wish they would come back and start making them again because I ordered like 25 of these and I gave some away which I should never have and I still have a few brand new ones that I'm saving. This is his YouTube channel so you're reporting him just so you know not me. What are you going to report me for? He said child abuse. Oh shut up. Okay. Um, how far along are we in harvest? Um, maybe half. More so on soybeans. Soybeans are probably 75% complete and corn is probably 25% maybe. Okay, um, what kind of hours do you work? It just depends on the day. Yesterday I worked 16 hours. And today I won't work as many because uh, we got off to a late start because it was wet. So I worked on YouTube stuff this morning. It just varies. Okay, are there many versatile Nemesis tractors out yet? Not yet because they just went into production. I hope we don't lose you guys here. I forgot I'm at that end of the field. I drove too far. But the grain bin's getting full on the combine. I turned a little early, and the other thing at this end of the field, we're right up against some power lines too, so. Get planted in your area. Uh, a lot of the corn is like 112 day roughly or so. Boy, I better get going. Okay, we're unloading on to go again. Bill Cosby, if you're just going to get on here and talk crap, why don't you just do us all a favor and uh, go bother somebody else? There are people that do enjoy this farm and stuff. If you don't, just go do something else, please. We'll get back to questions after he's done unloading. if we can walk them.
Still got the drones flying overhead. I could put them in timeout. I don't okay. know how to delete them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Some. My name is Alexandria. Okay, we're gonna go dump the grain cart. Okay, did you grow up in Dark County? I uh, know, uh, my wife and I moved to Dark County in 1996. My wife and I are both from Northeast Ohio. Alexandria was born here in Dark County though. Uh, my other two uh, children, both boys were both born in Salem, Ohio where I was born. questions or you can re-ask them it might be easier. yeah just probably easier to re-ask because then you'll miss the new stuff and you'll get behind yeah just re-ask questions because we lost them when we were doing that okay does that cart pull much on that tractor no i'm going slow right through here because we're on an old railroad track uh, going from field to field where the trucks are and it's just really bumpy so I'm just going slow through here but this J&M grain cart is balanced really nice so the tires the axle of the grain carts carrying the weight really well no he's not using auto steer he's just that good <laughs> no. I, I know some guys do use auto steer when they run along the combine but I, I don't. Uh, have you ever heard of Ashland, Ohio? Yes, oh yeah. I've been there many times. When I worked for Gale, we used to have people in Ashland, Ohio. Okay, there goes the reversible fan kicking on. If you hear the tractor humming, this has the reversible fan and it kicks on. The fan blades change pitch and it blows everything out of the radiator. But there's no point switching the camera around because by the time she does, it'll be done. <laughs> um, are we over by Petey's tonight? Uh, yes, we are. We are real close. We might get pizza for supper tonight, I don't know. I know one thing, we're not going to be eating out in the field tonight. Okay, I got the auger folded out, and since I got the lights on on the tractor, the auger has a light on it as well, as most do. But this grain cart also has a light inside the tank. Let's see if I can flip that in. I'll just try not to spill any corn, since she's going to film me. Yes, I do farm with my dad. I like to ride with him, keep him company. <laughs> my name's Alexandria. Everyone wants to know. Okay, how fast does this unload? Um, I don't know what the speed is, but it's pretty darn fast. Yes, I'm his only daughter, and he has two older sons, my two older brothers. 
So I can safely say Alexandria is my favorite daughter because she's my only daughter. Yeah. <laughs> How far are we from Marion, Ohio? Uh, Marion is roughly an hour, a little over an hour. Uh, what did you do before birth of tile? I was a service rep for Gale Company, and I used to work at a dealer that sold wet tractors. Put a camera on the cart yet? No, I haven't. They're still on the other grain cart. Um, I don't care so much about one on the auger, but I would like to have one behind me for when I'm going down the road because the mirrors of the tractor don't quite reach out there. And uh, a camera is nice. I'll try to get one on here. gonna shut us down tonight no nope, I don't think so we're not gonna work real late tonight because we're gonna the drying bins gonna be full and I don't know how much longer we'll do the live stream we'll probably let it get completely dark and uh, we're probably only gonna seriously fill a couple more trucks and then we're gonna call it a night probably we don't work real late here I worked till 11 last night and that last hour was pretty tough what transmission does the tractor have that we're in? It has a 16-speed full power shift. The grain cart's empty and the truck is nearly quite full. Uh, how far are we from Fort Wayne, Indiana? About an hour and a half. None of his kids followed him in the ag industry. No. I almost did, but I yeah. didn't. I didn't. I was. But remember, Alexander is still in school. Things could change. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still going to college. Okay. How many hours are you allowed to put on this tractor? Unlimited. <laughs> as long as I maintain it. Uh, seriously, I don't, we got it, we didn't get it right at the beginning of harvest. I don't know if we'll put 100 on it or, well, I had 25 when we got it, 24, 25, and uh, it's got 39 on it now, so we'll see. Uh, the, we don't really have anything here that's really going to work it, other than the 42 foot field cultivator. I know you don't normally run a field cultivator in the fall but we're gonna get it out just to try it just to see what she's got but I think this thing will pull everything the 9410R will I really do um, what group bean is planted in our area oh <laughs> you're asking me a question I can't answer but uh, several different ones but long season but there are there's a few guys around here that grow wheat and do plant some double crop have you ever been to Bat, Bat, Batavia, Ohio? What is it? Bat, Batavia, Ohio. Batavia. Bat oh, Batavia. Yeah. I hope no one heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there, obviously. Yeah. Um, I didn't get back in time for the combine, so we might have to do some unloading standing still. Uh-oh, he's got the big camera. so many questions I'm sorry yeah no you cannot marry his daughter you cannot marry me but he might let you work with them I don't know <laughs> how yeah we do run near West Manchester yeah, we're just north of West Manchester right now, about all oh, six, five or six miles, I'd say. Um, 
Is Versatile built in the USA? Uh, Versatile was actually built in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. But a lot of the components for this tractor are built in the USA. How's come none of your kids got into farming? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What kept me away was the khaki pants because I didn't. I don't look good in khaki pants, so I didn't oh, want to wear them. Wearing khaki pants to a farm show. Yeah, that's what got me. I know that's stupid, but uh, you run a versatile high-speed disc on this tractor. Um. Yes, we might be getting one to try on here. We ran a uh, versatile 25-foot Fury, which is the smallest one, on a 365 last year in Illinois, and it pulled it pretty decent. Um, do you plant cotton? No cotton up here. Well, let me, I take that back. I take that back. I planted two rows of cotton in my garden like three years in a row just for the heck of it. A guy I know down in Mississippi uh, goes by David Ray. He uh, he hooked me up with some cotton seed, and we just don't quite have long enough growing season here. If, I, if I'd start the plants in the house or in a greenhouse, I would say I could probably get it to work. My, uh, my Uncle Ed actually planted quite a bit of cotton um, years ago in Ohio screwing around because he had the apple orchard and he had pick your own apples, pick your own pumpkins. And just for scenery, he did plant some uh, cotton and sometimes it would almost make it. It would get white, you know, and stuff, but it would just never fully mature. Uh, have you ever had any compassion problems? Compaction is always a problem and lot like last fall was wet and sometimes you have to harvest when you don't want to um this spring was wet we had to work ground and plant when it wasn't favorable so compaction is always a problem okay how hard is it to hook a camera up you want to hook one on their skid loader uh, it's pretty easy. I actually got these cameras that are uh, Halo View, and they're wireless cameras. So you can, uh, as long as you got power going to the camera, it will communicate wirelessly to your monitor. So cameras are really easy. To, they're they're just affordable and they're easy to hook up. Uh, what kind of sports do you watch? <laughs> uh, I don't really watch any sports. I'm not a big sports fan. Uh, Ohio State football, and I used to like NBA back when the Detroit Pistons were good, like in the late 80s and 90s, but other than that, really nothing. I watch wrestling on Monday nights sometimes, if that counts. Fake wrestling. <laughs> no, it's real. It's totally real. Uh, someone said they think they've seen me on farmers only.com. No, you have. You have I, not prom I promise you, you have not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because uh, my daughter's here and my wife's watching. I, I know that. Um, have you ever worked near Freeport, Illinois? Yes. Oh, yeah. I actually have stayed at the Hampton Inn in Freeport, Illinois a couple times in my life. Someone asked if you know Cole the Corn Star. I met Cole the Corn Star at... The Farm Progress show in Decatur, Illinois, for a day. I only got to talk to him for a little bit. He just got a hundred thousand subscribers. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. You guys think he bought those subscribers? He he grew awful fast. <laughs> um, does anyone plant sunflowers? Yes. Yeah, a few people do. Not mostly for fun, though. I guess. For photos. Yeah, for photos. <laughs> uh, how close are we to the Brown Farms? Browns, yeah, there's but... a lot of browns around here, but uh, there's a brown farm just kind of south and west of here. I don't even know them, but, well, there's uh, some of them I do. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of browns. I guess it depends which one you're talking about. Um, are you going to do a best of the best chopper video? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's my plan for, like, January, do best of corn silage 2019 or something um, uh, what do you do in the winter uh, snowmobile trap 
uh, go to farm shows. There's always something to do. I put up a lot of Christmas lights every year, so uh, I mean, I, I start doing that on Thanksgiving, but uh, I consider that my part of my winter festivities too, activities. Um, do you deal with the Rosie Bros in Michigan? Uh, I were, they was a dealer for a short time. I have been there a couple times. Um, do you get some time off this, um, during the year since you help farm? Do you get time off? I, yeah, I, I get a decent amount of vacation with Versatile, but, and I'm burning vacation right now to farm because this is what I like doing. <laughs> what's for dinner tonight and what's your favorite foods after a long day of farming? <laughs> Well, last night my wife made a meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. That was just on the video I posted today. But uh, uh, my wife's actually at a work meeting tonight, and uh, she's not going to be home till late. So when we get done here, Alexandria and I will probably be going somewhere local here for pizza or something. Okay, we're going to be unloading on the go again, but she don't have to flip it around unless you want a night shot. But we'll be doing it again here. Um. Do you know the Brown Farms on YouTube? Oh, yes, yes. Brian Brown, yes. I know Brian. Um, actually, he was just watching this live stream. He commented a little bit ago. And uh, I've met him at a couple farm shows and stuff. I actually got his phone number. Uh, we text and talk every now and again. Uh, what's your opinion on tacos? Tacos? Uh, I'm not a big Taco Bell fan, but if you go to a Mexican restaurant, tacos are pretty good. Oh, tacos, Cudoba. I've yes. been going to Cudoba all these years, and I always get the burritos or the burrito bowl. Well, they got tacos, and I think they call them knockout tacos, and they are awesome. If you go to Cudoba, definitely try out their tacos. Um, do you have any gifts for Thanks for all the work you put into your videos. A lot of people have said okay, that. Okay, well, so. thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody that watches these YouTube videos because I do put a lot of time and effort into them, but uh, I enjoy it, and it's the positive comments and everything that keep me doing it. There's definitely not enough money uh, having a YouTube channel to make it a, a job, but you do make a few bucks off of it, but I'm not big enough for uh, it to be even close to a job, so... Um, my favorite food is probably, oh gosh, I don't know. I like like anything Italian. It's pretty good. I, yeah, but I don't like meatloaf. They said, what's your favorite food since you don't like meatloaf? You love steak. Yeah, I do love steak. That's probably my, one of my favorites. <laughs> do you sleep much? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> Some people think I never sleep, but I do. I i got to have at least six hours of sleep every night. That's at least six, but seven is better. Uh, okay. What's your opinions on GMOs? If you want to get right down to it, what isn't genetically modified? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you like Trump? Yes. <laughs> of course. We can't we go all too do. into detail, but We yes. all do. I'm not going to get on here and talk politics because it's going to make somebody mad. I voted for Trump in 2016, and I'll vote for him again in 2020. And despite what you see on the news that farmers don't like him, I can almost guarantee 90% of the farmers do like him. Maybe more, but I don't know many farmers that don't. Okay. Can I ask what brand of camera you use for the backup camera? Uh, a, ha a Halo, Halo View. I think they pronounce it Halo View. H-A-L-O View. But Egg Cam makes some. But them Halo Views are uh, less money, and I didn't see anything wrong with them at all. They were very good. So 
someone said drinking black coffee, watching Fork and Mike and his daughter. What an awesome night. Thank that, you. That's awesome. Is that Barry Bargo? Yeah, it is. All right. Hey, hey, Barry. I used to work with, uh, when I worked at the white farm equipment dealer, uh, Barry's dad was a service manager. He was my boss, Dave Bargo. And I'll just tell you the black coffee story. Uh, Dave Bardo was not a very tall guy, but uh, I was young when I started there, and we go on coffee break, and I'm 18 years old or whatever, and thought I would have some coffee, and I went to put cream and sugar in it, and Dave Bardo told me I've never become a real man if I put cream or sugar in my coffee, so I never tried it with uh, cream or sugar, and I've been drinking it black ever since, and I drink coffee every single day. Favorite farming YouTube channel besides your own? Um, well, I'm gonna probably be mad uh, because I'm gonna forget to mention somebody. But I'm gonna Big Tractor Power and I talk a couple times a week, so probably him because our channels are similar and we talk often. I I do like Minnesota Millennial Farmer. Uh, Brian does a good job down here, and he's from Ohio, so I have to play him. Uh, a couple guys up in New York, uh, I think they're both from New York, Farming, Fixing, and Fabricating, uh, Mike P7810. Um, I'm going to forget somebody. Of course, Welkers. Welkers are awesome because I, I've been to their farm. And there's a lot of good stuff out there, but I'm just going to say this. It is impossible for me to watch everybody's farming videos on YouTube because if I'm watching somebody's video on YouTube, I'm taking time away from editing my own. I try to keep up, but it's tough. Um, okay, what's what's your heritage? Are you from Europe as a background? Yes. Uh, family ancestry would go back to the left side would be from Luxembourg. And on my mom's side, there's Romania and Italian. And on my grandma, left side would be German. So German and in uh, Luxembourg are pretty close because they're right there. So uh, the Les family, or uh, there's some family members that's Los, like L-O-E-S. Uh, when they migrated over here, they all went to Dubuque, Iowa. And my great-grandpa moved from Dubuque, Iowa to Northeast Ohio to start an apple orchard. So it's a pretty interesting story. And then uh, they had a lot of kids. And then my grandpa, Francis, had an apple orchard. And I went on the payroll for my grandpa. I live right across the road. I went on the payroll for my grandpa in seventh grade pulling brush from underneath the apple trees. And I think we had roughly 25 acres of apple orchard when I was a kid. Uh, we grew over 100 acres of sweet corn and, uh, and several acres of small grains. We also had three lane houses of chickens. And um, my cousin John now runs the family farm. John and I are the exact same age. There was, we all lived on the same road, so it was uh, my brother and I and three of my cousins. We were all within uh, two years of each other. We all worked on the farm together. We, we were cousins, but we were like best friends. Uh, I had a pretty awesome childhood with my cousins and on the farm. It was, it was awesome. But I always wanted to be a dairy farmer. My goal when I was a kid was I was going to be a dairy farmer. I said, I told my parents I was going to be a big dairy farmer someday and milk 250 cows. Well. The, be the closest I ever got was I married a dairy farmer's daughter. <laughs> okay. Um, do you work for this farm or are you, just or are you related some way? I am not. I'm not related. They call me family, but um, blood-wise, I'm really not. <laughs> okay. Um, Here comes the combine again. I'll turn it around so you guys can watch. Sorry, I got the auger away, but that's... You can still see. Yeah. We'll get back to questions in a little bit.
how are you liking this tractor? I love this tractor. And tonight's really awesome because I got Alexandria riding with me. <laughs> and it's always a good time when Alexandria or any of my kids or wife's in the tractor with me. So This cab's big enough we could actually fit my wife and three kids in here. It wouldn't be comfortable, but it could be done. Um, why is Ohio the best Midwest state? Well, we got the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio's just an awesome state. We got we got a pretty diverse uh, agriculture going on here in Ohio. We got uh, corn and soybean, a lot of grain farms. We got lots of dairy farms, hogs, turkeys, laying houses, poultry, and then Ohio. You go to the southern part of the state. It's it's hilly and rolling, Appalachian. Ohio's just a beautiful state. <laughs> and I, we're from Ohio, so we're kind of biased. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but. Um, is this corn for animals or humans? Uh, this A lot of this corn is probably actually going to go for ethanol. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you know Gail Torrey... Gail Territory man Dennis Br Burns. He was our rep back in the day. He really knew his stuff. Yes, uh, Dennis Burns was just retired when I started, but I heard a lot of good things about him. I heard he didn't want to make him mad either. <laughs> he must be from Michigan. Yeah, I think maybe. That's where Dennis Burns was from. <laughs> Um, have you ever been to the Red River Valley during sugar beet harvest? No, but that's on my list. I've been through the Red River Valley and uh, yep. I'm gonna see if we got a semi here. Uh, we're gonna take the tractor and dump cart over here and we are gonna dump. No, I'm his daughter, not his girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I wanna make sure that one was clear. Yeah. Okay. Um, Michigan is not better than Ohio. I will say that. <laughs> One thing about Michigan, though, there is awesome snowmobiling there. Yeah. Nothing against Michigan, but you know, we're from Ohio. We're not these people from Ohio that uh, root for Michigan during football. I never understood oh. that really. But we do have a few people that live around here that claim they're die-hard Michigan football fans for whatever reason. Bluetooth in that tractor and what do you do or what do you listen to when you work? Um, yeah, I, I, I just wear a Bluetooth. I wear a Blue Parrot mostly when I'm in the tractor. This radio does have Bluetooth but I like to wear the Blue Parrot because you jump out of the tractor. Like when we're working ground and stuff you got to get out or when I got a field planter in the spring or whatever. It's just easier to wear the one on my head so I don't even have to uh, switch off. I am 51. And I'm 19. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think I have an empty semi back here, but I'm going to find out in a minute. Uh, if I don't have a semi here, uh, we'll answer a few more questions, but we may be wrapping this thing up here pretty soon because the drying bin might be full. So all we can do when the drying bin's full is fill all the trucks and carts and go from there but I'd like I guess and Hank is probably coming back but I don't know that for sure how long have you been filming uh, this live stream has been going on for no oh, like, uh, like YouTube. YouTube yeah YouTube. I started a YouTube channel in February of 2012 so quite a while I study organizational leadership, which no one's going to know what that means. It's kind of like marketing. Um, and I also, so I go to school and I work at Midmark, which is a medical and dental device company. And when I graduate college, I want to get into medical sales. So, well, we got an empty semi here, guys, so we can keep going if you want to. Yeah, let us know if you guys want to keep watching. Yep. I enjoy it, so as long as Alexandria is not tired of holding the camera, we'll uh, we'll go for another half hour or so. Um, how 
have you been to Manitoba for harvest? Uh, yes, actually, uh, last summer I was up here the end of August and got to witness some canola harvest and some oat harvest. Which the canola harvest was the first time I ever got to see that and be around it. That was really cool. And then I also, the guys that were cutting oats or, or harvesting oats, they had swathed it ahead of time. So that was new to me as well. I go to Wright State University. Someone says they own a medical device company in New York City and asked if I'd want to work for them. I don't want to live in New York City. <laughs> Nothing against it. Yeah, but I... Uh, we like our small, small town living. I drove the tractor earlier. Everyone's telling me to drive again. Uh, how many acres are left to go? Uh, I think I figured up we got about 70... I think we're 75% done with soybeans and maybe 25-30% done with corn. I will do it when I graduate because <laughs> I want to get into it right away. Um, yeah, keep asking questions. How much, how much corn fits in the trailer? Um, this grain cart, I've had 67,000 pounds of corn in this grain cart and it, it'll really fill a sip. I, I can't quite get it all in. So uh, divide, I do your math. Corn, if corn's uh, 60, 60 pounds a bushel or 56, somewhere in there. Is Mike a big deal in some town? Yeah. I don't. Well, okay, when we go out She can tell you stories. When we go out, literally anywhere, we'll like, hear like, farm in Mike, like across the street, and it's like some random guy, and they're like calling him over. So, yeah, he has a lot of fans, and when he goes know him from his YouTube so I guess it's it's kind of funny because I don't think that but it, it amazes me when I go out in public yeah we always say like he has like paparazzi and stuff yeah. like following him but we've been called, I've been called out in restaurants yeah <laughs> even got called out walking out of a church one time which really <laughs> like just like a little small town church and like they know him from his YouTube and like it's just crazy but anywhere you go, they know them, so, which I guess that's cool, but. Well, I guess the green cart wasn't clear full. The semi is, I can get a little bit more in it, but not very much. So we're going to go back and catch the again. Yeah. I might live in LA. That might be kind of fun for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, how's come Versatiles are so hard on fuel compared to John Deere and Fenn? You know, people say that, and I got the monitor in here, and I can have Cummins Insight hooked up to these, and I just don't know where that comes from, other than people are running these 2200 RPMs instead of 17 or 1800. I think these Cummins are just as fuel efficient as the other brands, but... I, people tell me that, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Um, how bad was the flooding in the spring? Uh, we didn't have a lot of flooding right here, but it was just raining all the time. But not enough that it flooded things out here, but it kept the fields wet and the low spots had water on them. I'd gotten all snooty with his celebrity status. I can't say this. Sometimes it gets to him, and we always make fun of him for it. Uh, Hold on, guys. I got to take a call with the. Yeah, just Hello. one second. I just, yeah, you know, the sim. I just filled the sim. I well, it's 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 ninety percent full. So, um, if you want to just fill the cart, that'll be good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. But we can wrap it up anytime. We're getting a lot of questions, so yep. Yeah. You want to you want to do a couple more? Or are you going to be on those other rows on the other side? Yep. Yeah. We'll 
fill the cart. Okay. Yep, yeah, bye. Okay, guys, we're going to fill the cart, and uh, we'll probably have this thing, we'll probably be in here about 15 more minutes, so we'll try to answer your questions the best we can, and I think we can save this live stream when we're done with it, so you can come back and watch it, hopefully. Okay, uh, I have two older brothers, and that's it, and I'm the youngest. I guess that's famous. <laughs> what I'm saying is there was this one time we went to Buffalo Wild Wings as a family. In Richmond, and, Indiana. And um, the waitress like forgot my food or whatever oh. and everyone else had food. And he but, like he was like really mad about it for some reason. But we just say that like sometimes like his fame gets to him and like he acts like he needs like everything like Come on, now that's that's ridiculous. You guys have always I put everybody else before me. But when we went we to were a, just joking though. But when we went to a restaurant and everyone had their food but Alexandria and it was like ten minutes till the waitress come out, so I was mad. Yeah, but and it, it really was wasn't funny. the waitress's fault. She had an emergency and people were supposed to be watching her table and like the kitchen brought out the food for five of us. Because, well, there was uh, five of us there. The, so the kitchen brought out the food for four of us and left hers. And they never said anything. They just walked away. And it was just crazy. And it went on too long. But I still left a 20% tip. <laughs> I'm not going to be that kind of guy. I had to share that one. <laughs> but he's nice all the time. So that was just a But bad, I did get a little mouthy moment. there when that guy was lipping off here. But, yeah, uh, well, he happens. sticks up for me. <laughs> Um, I do know some of his crazy high school days stories. He has told me a couple, <laughs> but probably not the one, probably not like the worst ones. Um, someone said, Hey Mike, I have a one sixteenth scale big Roy that I will trade you for one of those great looking breakfasts. Wow. I, <laughs> that's, that's a great trade for me, not for you, <laughs> but I'll take you up on it. <laughs> yeah, we'll feed you breakfast for a week or so. <laughs> um, is the suspension on the Versatile as smooth as it is on the Versa or on the John Deere? Um, the, the the John Deere ILS seriously for ride is pretty tough to beat. This is a nice suspended axle, and this is the same one Massey uses and other companies. It's a Dana, but the ILS is uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Are you going to deer hunt this year in the stand? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan. Uh, how long have you worked at Versatile? Ten years. Um, have you seen any injuries related to the tractor? You have one. Relate An injury related to a tractor? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has some. <laughs> I cut my finger one time. Yeah. Ugh cut my top of my finger off. I'm not throwing my dad under the bus. I just had it. They said you're throwing your dad under the bus. About what? Because I told him about that one story. Oh, heck. Uh, Vicki Martin said Bill's sitting in his chair watching you too. Okay. Hi, Bill. Hi. Bill, you should be out here. I got to get you, uh, got to show Bill how to run this tractor because I'm not going to be here next week. He does not wear sunglasses inside. That is like a big no-no. I hardly ever wear sunglasses, period. <laughs> but if we see like anyone inside with sunglasses, we always have to pull the joke out. Is, is it sunny in here? Yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's a no. I wonder about somebody that knows we're like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone, someone said nothing like being chopped down from the family. Okay, every time we say something mean about him, he says, is it National Rip Your Dad Apart Day? That's his go-to line, so yep. he has to pull that one out. There's a couple things I've said in my life that my kids will never let go. <laughs> and one of them is, they'll ask me a question, and I say, you know I don't like getting put on the spot. Oh, that so that one so comes up all the time. And then is it National Rip Your Dad Apart Day is one. <laughs> 
Hey guys, when I get up here, um, I'm gonna stop and we're gonna get out and we're gonna show you the combine going by real quick and then we're gonna just walk around the tractor and the crank and have a look at it real quick. But definitely go back to my YouTube channel if you wanna see. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay, does Versatile have IBT transmissions as an option? It's coming. It's coming real close. You want to flip the... Actually, we can just stay in here and you can just show... Okay, well, the combine's going to be going by here, so we'll just show you. This is the John Deere S670 with an 8-row corn head on it. Someone said I'm a natural like you on the camera. There you go. It's really cold out, so I'm gonna leave Alexander in the tractor, and I'm just gonna get out. Do you want? Oh, do you want it on here? You can leave it on there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna get out, and I'm just gonna show you the. We're not gonna answer any questions for the next little bit here, because. Did you flip it? Okay, it's yeah. flipped. Okay, kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, Versatile 365 and the J&M 1112. I'm going to get back in the tractor. It's pretty cold out here. So... Here's the monitor in the tractor. This is ISOBUS compatible, and uh, you can customize this. And this is how I have it set up. If you want to learn more about this monitor and the new Versatile tractors, I do have a video on my YouTube channel going through it and everything, so definitely check that out. Okay, we'll flip this around and answer a few more questions. Uh, does Versatile make a combine? Yes, the RT520 is the list model. Okay. Um, okay. Um, how often do we live stream together? This is the first live stream we've ever done Monday night. And last fall we did uh, two live streams on Instagram. One night I ran the tractor and then uh, one night from the... Uh, one night from the tractor and grain cart, one night from the combine. So maybe here in the next couple weeks, maybe Alexander and I can do one and we'll run the combine and do a live stream from the combine. Because we do switch off here at the farm. Uh, Jeff, who owns the S670 there, he does get tired of running the combine. So anytime I want to run the combine, he's more than happy to switch it around. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I go to Wright State University. Does it have LED lights? Yes, it does. Uh, eight of them total. Why did everyone on YouTube get grain carts this year? All as I can say is I was the first. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I was the first. Everybody wants to be like Mike, I guess. I'm, I'm pretty lucky. We live 35 miles from uh, J&M. J&M Grain Carts or J&M Manufacturing Fort Recovery, Ohio is about 35 miles from here. This farm already has two other J&M carts, so I know the rep for J&M. Uh, Mike is his name. Uh, I've known him for a long time, and uh, he hooked us up, and there's a good chance this grain cart will stay here at this farm. Would you ever do a farm visit one day? A farm, but where at? If you got something cool to film, absolutely. Uh, what's, what's the oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, what's the corn moisture? Uh, this is around 20%, I think, but some of it's, we've had corn down to uh, 14%. This corn field here was planted June 3rd. I actually planted this field. I worked this field one night and planted it the next day. Because we switch off here. 
Nobody just sticks to doing one thing. We take turns. Mike, do you have any brothers or sisters that are? Uh, no. Um, I have one brother, and my brother Corey is a pharmacist. And I have another brother. I had another brother. My brother, my brother Jeff passed away uh, three years ago, and uh, he was a union electrician. How big is this field? Uh, this field is kind of weird. Shaped. There's uh, there's over 120 acres right here all together. There's a split in the field because there's a swamp and then there's a railroad track driveway we use to go from one to the other. Uh, does Versatile make a sprayer? Yes, they do. Versatile has a self-propelled sprayer, the SX280, and that is built in Wilmar, Minnesota. Wilmer. Wilmer, Minnesota, or Wilmar, as I would say, the way it's spelled. Have you ever met a harmless farmer? Yes, I have, and harmless farmer might actually come over here uh, sometime and drive this tractor. We're going to do a YouTube video together. He only lives like an hour from here. Okay. Is there any Amish in Western Ohio? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, just across the line in Indiana, there's more, but uh, there is a few, not right here, but there's a few south of here now, but once we cross the state line over in Indiana, there's quite a few. I'm his daughter. Uh, what's the corn yielding? Uh, we've had yields. Okay, I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. When I ran the combine, I've seen the yield monitor go up to 260 and 270 in places. I've seen fields average 200. But then we got fields that just have low spots where there is absolutely nothing. And that just, that really brings your average down. Is Ohio East Coast? No, it's in the Midwest. They consider maybe. Ohio, yeah, Midwest, but yeah. not really sure why because it's, it's more East than it is West. But. Oh, he's back on again. Yep. Welker forms beat you on the grain cart. I'm getting a grain cart. Huh. Maybe, maybe on actually getting it, but verbally not. <laughs> <laughs> it don't really matter. I'm just joking around anyways. Yeah, but see, Welker started harvest way earlier because of the crops they grow too. You got to remember that. Hello? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yes, we're running the versatile. And yes, I do study. Don't worry about it. We're going to wrap it up here. We're going to fill the grain cart and call it a night. Up. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I think we're going to be wrapped up here in the next 10, 15 minutes. So. It's still it's still going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to Hank, everybody. All right. We'll okay. see you. Yeah, bye. Um, okay. Yes, the buddy seat is comfortable and no, I'm not married. It's just a ring. I it's not a an engagement or whatever. It's wow, not people that. notice that. Your hand's I know. barely in the My video. My hand's barely it's not I'm not married though. Um how long does it take to clear the whole field? It just really it depends on uh, how fast we can keep the trucks moving in and out but we can we can knock out a lot of acres in a hurry you got when you got the grain cart running and the combine doesn't have to stop and the trucks are coming and uh, sometimes we run two grain carts I mean you can just and the combines taking eight rows of corn at about five and a half mile an hour so thank you guys for watching <laughs> yep uh, oh 
Um, I study organizational leadership and um, I'm getting like a minor in graphic design. Okay, do you work or do you work for a farm? I'm, I'm a farm, that's what I go by farm, Mike. I work for Versatile and then I help this farm in my spare time and on my vacation time. I mean, you people call it work, but to me, this is play. Driving these tractors and running farm equipment to me is about the equivalent of snowmobiling or four wheeling. Yeah, someone asked, what do you do in the winter? Yeah, I forgot, yeah. But snow snowmobile, snowmobile four wheeling, some trapping. Guys can keep asking questions. Someone said he sleeps in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Sometimes my wife and I catch up on uh, watching different movies and stuff in the winter time because we don't really we don't really watch any TV at our house to speak of. But uh, in the winter time, some movies or something, my wife and I will will watch them. Uh, my Instagram is. I'll just spell it out. But it's A L E X A N D R I A and then L E S S. Alexandria Less. You can follow me. <laughs> Someone asked. Yeah, no, absolutely. I got like 30 followers today from him, so you guys oh, can I take him in a photo coming. this morning. Then, uh, I like him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we plan on doing a live stream again soon. Yeah, I guess what we're doing this live stream and people are watching, I have a favor to ask from uh, my YouTube followers. I have a video on my YouTube channel of three gleaner combines cutting wheat in McGargle, Texas. And that video is at 975,000 views. Help me get that video to a million. I want to say I have a video with a million views and I'm so close. So if you guys would go back to my YouTube channel, Go to my videos, go to Most Watch, and just watch that one for a little bit. I think it's like 20 minutes long. Just help me get the, let's get a million, come on. And then while we're at it, let's go for 100,000 subscribers. I like to think I have a pretty good YouTube channel with some diverse uh, farming and farm equipment and so forth, so. But then anyways, thanks everybody. Uh, someone said I got you, Mike. <laughs> Uh, does your daughter give you a hard time a lot? Yeah, yeah. my my oldest son, or her oldest brother, does the most. <laughs> I can I can beat him up though. Yeah, she can. <laughs> she is actually a couple times when I was teasing her, she's actually like elbowed me or punched me or hit me, and she knows right where to get you. She's got me good a couple times. No, I don't know Ser Serbia. I don't know what that is. Yeah, everyone's saying they're going to watch your videos. So. All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> He'll be bragging on that one once when it hits him. I don't think I will, but you never know. Have you ever been to Europe or Austria? Yes, I have. I've been to, I've been to uh, Austria in 2004. I was in Switzerland, in Germany, uh, Italy, the UK. I've been to Germany a couple times, actually. Uh, I'm 19. Um, have you ever seen an international 315 combine? Uh, not a 315, no. A 615 and an 815 and a 915. I said that that was their first one they ever seen run. It was three road narrow head and it yeah. was in 1994. Okay. <laughs> the first combine that I was ever around was a white 7300. My grandpa bought it brand new. And I think I was in sixth or seventh grade when he got it. That's a little calm by now, but I was awful impressed with it. Um, are you going to run your Heston Baylor this year? I hope so. I sure hope we have a decent November. Uh, what are the big tractors with the forks in the front? <laughs> That's what someone's question is. Like a loader tractor? <laughs> Someone said, we can hear that Cummins power in the background. Oh, yeah. There, I'll rev her up a little bit. <laughs> Cummins engines have a... Because we're going to be done soon, 
so keep them, whatever you guys have left. Also, if anybody's watching this that doesn't have a question, just write in the comments where you're from. I'm kind of curious where this video is reaching out to. I mean, I know it goes all over the world, which is amazing. Yeah, I've seen a lot of different countries. Okay, great. Washington, Argentina, South Dakota. I think I have a pretty decent following out of Argentina. Rockford, Illinois, oh, Las yeah. Vegas, Dayton, Ohio, Minnesota, Montana, Granville, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Wisconsin, Sweet. Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Troy, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. This has been awful Lots fun. Ohio, Canada, Saudi Arabia, New York, Ontario, Texas. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. I think this is going to be the last uh, fill here for the combine coming up. So. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. We appreciate it. He appreciates it. <laughs> Another comment that we got to convince my wife or mom of is uh, someone said my wife should start a cooking channel on YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, comment. Yeah, would you guys follow my mom's cooking channel? Yeah, she's camera shy. She doesn't like this kind of stuff, but. Uh, there's no B in it and an add an I in it. I can't for my Instagram name. Someone said I'd watch and get fat. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch of like different. Okay. Things. Yeah. I with the way my wife cooks and feeds me, I mean, it's a wonder I don't weigh 500 pounds. But oh, is there a dot in my ear? What's that? I didn't think there was a dot in my ear name. Someone else. I did. think you do have. Uh, oh yeah, it is that one that just commented Alexandria dot less. I forgot. Yeah, Alexandria, not Alexandra, Alexandria, which is kind of confusing because there's a girl that works at Versatile named Alexandra, and her name or my contacts is like her number and then my daughter's number, and sometimes it's like easy to accidentally call the wrong one. <laughs> Last minute questions, it's your turn. Yeah, chance. I only got like five minutes left here, maybe ten. How do you like the old New Holland Genesis tractors? I love them, I love them. Uh, there's a farm down the road for me that I used to help quite a bit, and he's got an 8770 and an 8870, and I spent a lot of time in both those tractors, especially the 8770. That was a two-wheel drive, or is a two-wheel drive, and uh, actually I found the 8870 for him out at Coons Equipment traded it in in Illinois and he went out and looked at it and bought it. But them are just great tractors. Uh, definitely some of my favorites. Um, have you had experience with other grain carts? Um, pretty much I've only run J&M grain carts. Uh, I, did run a, I did get to run a Kinsey before and uh, mostly J&M. Uh, what type of tractor are we using? Are you using? A versatile. 365. Uh, do you like rice farming TV? Uh, I've not got to see very much of that. He's out of California. Um, as I said, it's just hard to keep up and watch everybody. Uh, what's your honest answer about the Kloss combines? I like them actually. <laughs> I like Kloss stuff, like Kloss's choppers are awesome, uh, I think their combines are awesome, and I'm, I think that they went to the new colors this year, or the original Kloss colors for North America, I think is awesome. But I know they're pretty good, I know people, I know a lot of people that have them, and really like them, but again, I don't think anybody makes a bad machine anymore to speak of. I think I'm full. What's your highest bench? Um about 400 pounds years ago but that was years ago but i still right now can rep out 315 for uh three or four well maybe not i haven't lifted for two and a half months but it won't take me very long to get back up into the 315 but as i get older 
and uh, have a little bit of joint pain, I don't really try to go as heavy as I absolutely can anymore. Okay, the grain cart full. I'm going to park it. The combine's going to finish up here, so we can hang on here a couple minutes, but I think we're pretty well going to be wrapping her up. Yeah, everyone's just commenting on your uh, benching. Okay. <laughs> Should I do a weightlifting video on my YouTube channel? I, I've got clips. I've just never done it because I always felt kind of dumb about it, but maybe, maybe sometime we'll do a weightlifting video. Maybe in the winter. Yeah, everyone's saying yeah. Okay. Maybe I should spawn like a lifting competition, the farmhand Mike Classic. <laughs> yeah, they really said you and leg arms. Yeah. 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 He claims that I would beat him, but I don't know. He's a lot younger, so technically. Stop the tracker. We'll just say goodbye. Okay. Okay, everybody. I uh, I stopped the tractor here. Grain cart's full. The combine's about full. So uh, I'm gonna take the tractor and park it. So we're gonna end it here. But I just want to give a big thank you to everybody that watched this. Everybody that watches my YouTube channel, subscribes. I appreciate every bit of it. And I'm always gonna have a lot of good stuff coming. So stay tuned. And uh, again, thanks. And Alexander, you got any closing comments? No. Nope. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Now we're gonna try to figure out how to end this. So thanks.